In this video, I'm going to be showing you solutions to these really annoying stair problems in Revit that can really hold your work. Well, we're going to be creating some amazing two side and three side stairs in Revit. And we're also going to be solving all of these issues along the way. Let's go. Now quickly, before we jump into Revit, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArchitect.com. I'm going to link it up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. There you can find all of my Revit courses. For example, I have an entire course on stairs and railings in Revit. And also when it comes to stairs and railings, we have an entire pack. So a family pack that includes some really amazing and unique stairs and railings that you haven't seen anywhere else. So check it out as I said the links are in the cards and in the description. So now without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So let's immediately get into it by placing the first stair. So go to architecture circulation panel and click on the stair tool. Then we're going to zoom in a little bit here and Placing the stair is really simple. You first need to define the stair type. I'm going to make it the monolithic stair type going from level one to level two with no offsets. Click one, click two, we're done. Now here it's going to give us an issue. It says can't make stair. Now I've noticed this with the newer versions of Revit. It's really annoying. However, there is a simple solution. So if I just cancel out of here, go into edit type. This has to do with the thickness of the monolithic run. So if I just change this from 150 to 140, for example, hit apply, okay, apply, okay, and just repeat the steps, click one, click two. Now it's going to work. I'm not sure why this is. It's really annoying. If you have a solution, please let me know. And if you know somebody at Autodesk, well, tell them that we all find this really annoying. Okay, so we have the stair in place. I'm also going to add a landing on top. So let's click on landing, create it from sketch and use a rectangle. And let's make a rectangle like this. So it's a just a rectangular uh, or square uh, landing, hit finish. And this is what we have here. We can see the 3D view. Okay, so this looks nice. We can hit finish and we're done. We're going to get the railing. Let's delete the railing because we don't need it for now. And now let's turn this into a two side stair. So how is this done? Well, you have to go back to the stair, select it, go into edit stairs, and then let's select the run itself. Now we need to convert this into a sketch based stair because that's going to give us more flexibility. So when I click on that, it's going to give us a warning saying we can't go back. That's fine. Click close. And there we go. Now we can just select it again, go into edit sketch. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be using the fastest approach, which is going to be to delete this line, go here to boundary, pick a line, and then let's extend a line like this then hit the escape key once. And I'm just going to pull another line at a 45 degree angle, just like this, marking kind of the equal length, hit the escape key a couple of times, bring this back, and then I can simply delete this one. Then I'm going to select this entire set of lines. Uh, these are the risers, then I'm going to go to copy. And then let's just move it off to the side, then go to rotate and rotate it by 90 degrees, just like this, go to move and then simply move it here in place. Now it's just a matter of connecting these. So you go to trim and extend to corner and you simply start connecting these like brr, and now we're done. After this, we can hit the escape key a couple of times and we just need to move the stair path to position. So let's just move it in like that, hit finish and we're done. And you can see in the floor plan view, it looks really good in the 3D view. It looks weird. So as I said, this is another Revit bug that we see. Uh, I'm not sure why is it doing this, but there are a couple of solutions for this. One solution would be just to select the stair and change the type. So if you change this to a different type instead of the monolithic stair, try something else, you can do that. I don't like that because I prefer working with the monolithic stair. So another solution would be just to select this, go to edit type and here change the underside surface from smooth to stepped, hit apply. Okay. And now it fixes that in the 3D. 
Now, if you don't like this because it isn't a complete solution, because perhaps you do want to have a smooth bottom of the stairs, uh, another option would be to do this as two different runs. So let me show you that right now. So I'm just going to hit finish to kind of complete this. Then I'm going to select this stair and then I'm just going to go to copy and copy it off to the side like this. The escape key a couple of times and then let's see. Okay, so it's this one here. Now I'm going to select this one, go into edit stairs, select this, go into edit sketch. And now I'm just going to be moving this. So let me actually move this back where it was, the stair path. Then for this line, I'm going to move it down here. Let's delete that element. And I'm just going to del be deleting all of these vertical risers, just like that. And then move the boundary like this at a 45 degree angle, hit finish. And now we have something that looks like this. Now go to the mirror tool, pick access, select the stair, hit enter, mirror it around this side. Now here, and we do seem to have an issue with this gap. And I think that the landing is causing it. So if I select the landing and delete it, yeah, it's no longer causing that issue. So this is now fixed. So anyways, now we can just select these two, go into edit type and then find the underside surface and just change it from step to smooth. So now it's going to work. So if we orbit around, as you can see, we have a smooth surface, but it's also, uh, it's also completing the entire stair, unlike with this weird one, which isn't working for some reason. Now, if you're thinking about, well, what about these ugly lines here? Well, you can fix those by using the line work tool and then just using invisible lines. And you just need to click this a few times and it's going to fix basically those lines on the entire stair. And the landing can of course be modeled as a floor or something like that. Now let's move forward and let's talk about a three side stair. So for that, I'm just going to select this or actually let's select these and then go to the actual run and switch this to stepped just because it's going to make it a bit easier for me to work with this stair. So if you want a three side stair, you would simply select this, go into edit stairs, select the run, go into edit sketch. And now we can go back here into level one and basically editing this would look something like this. So I would just delete this line first, then select everything on this side. Then I would go to mirror draw access and just go kind of down the middle here. And then once we have something that looks like this, I can then simply use the trim and extend to corner and fix these up like that. Now, once this is fixed, I would also move this line, just make it vertical like that, hit finish, and there we go. So we have something that looks like this, and now the stair is completely gone. So again, we're having issue with the stair tool with Revit, and it kind of disappeared the stair. So what I would do in this case is, again, I would assemble it as I did here. So let me show you what that would look like back here. Now here, I would simply delete this whole thing. So just hit delete, move the stair path like that. And then let's add another boundary here, just like so. Hit the escape key a couple of times and then hit finish. So now we have something that looks like this. Then let's go back, let's select this, and then let's go to mirror, draw access and mirror it around just like that. And then let's select it again, go to mirror pick access and mirror it like this. Once we're here, we can just go into edit sketch and then we can simply move this line like so. Make this one horizontal like that. And then let's go to trim and extend multiple elements. Click here, select these. They're going to extend, hit finish. And now when we go to the 3D view, we have something that looks like this. Again, we're having this weird issue here, which is probably being caused by the uh, landing. So if I delete that and then hit finish, now we have a proper three side stair. And now I can even select this uh, and go to edit type. And we can even switch the run to be smooth and it's going to look much nicer and 
well, exactly how it should look. And then again, as I said, if you want to add a landing here on top, you can just add it as a floor. And of course, you can do all of this with arcs. So if I go back to this original stair here, let's then copy it off to the side. Hit the escape key a couple of times, select it, go to edit stairs. Let's go here into the floor plan view, select this side, and then let's go to edit sketch. And now we want to see arcs. So for arcs, what I would do is I would simply, oops, let's go to risers, arc. And then, yeah, let's start with this one. So just make it an arc like that. And then you would simply repeat this for the rest of them. Once we have the arcs, let's adjust the boundary to the arcs themselves like that. Then you would delete the horizontal lines. So just hold the control key, delete all of these just like that. And then we would use the trim and extend multiple elements, click here, and then just click on all of these. So let's try this again, select this line like that and this, and there we go. Okay. And then finally, let's select the stair path, move it into position like that, hit finish. And then we would simply delete this one, select this one and mirror it around by using pick access, just like that hit finish, and now we have a nice stair. Uh, again, you could do this as a single stair, and then in that case, you cannot have this as a smooth bottom, you would have to make it stepped. Or if you have a solution to this issue in Revit, yeah, please let me know, I would love to know what's causing that. And then also you can use the line work tool to fix up the ugly uh, connections as we did on this stair here. You can do the same thing on this one. You can copy this multiple times to have a 180 degree stair. And there we go. So I hope you have learned something new. Uh, please tell me in the comment section below if you have any solutions to these issues. And if you want to get access to this Revit project file, as well as all of my other Revit project files, you can find that on my Patreon page, which I'm going to link up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.